I'm Bill Harris with Hollywood Close-Up. I have news for you. Now that Harrison Ford and Raiders of the Lost Ark look to be one of the more monumental box office hits of this year, at least, does it interest you to know that Ford wasn't the first choice to star? Reportedly, the producers wanted Tom Selleck on their side, but CBS wouldn't give him a waiver from his Magnum P.I. contract. And so Harrison Ford goes down in the history books as Indiana Jones. I tell you, if you don't read the tiny credits at the movies, you might miss some of the fun. In the middle of the muddle of endless love, that Brooke Shields, Martin Hewitt, surefire box office smash, that is her mother, Terry Shields, billed as one of the anonymous nurses in the mental ward. She gets billing right above the mental patients, which should tell us something, but I wouldn't dare guess. James Garner says he lost money starring in everybody's favorite Western comedy adventure series, the original Maverick. Garner swears it's true. He tells people to get out of his contract, he paid his attorney $8,000 more than he made in the three years he spent as Brett Maverick. Rockford Files, of course, that's a different story. That one made him a multimillionaire. On the nostalgia book beat, 32-year-old Eric Preminger will reveal all he wants about the world's most famous stripper, Gypsy Rose Lee, his mother. Eric was Gypsy's out-of-wedlock son by director Otto Preminger. He was a full-grown man before she told him who his father was. Eric told me the fabulous Gypsy was a wonderful mother, and he says, surprisingly enough, she was a woman of strict, almost Victorian virtues right up until her death in 1970 at the age of 57. Among the stories Eric plans to tell, Gypsy refused to marry the incredibly wealthy showman, Billy Rose, because, as she explained to her son, our relationship might have to get physical. And rock and roll star Alice Cooper and his wife Cheryl have just welcomed a new baby into their home. Their new daughter is named Calico. As far as I'm concerned, Frank Zappa's daughter, named Moon Unit, still holds the title. I'm Bill Harris for Showtime, and we'll talk again.